Okay, the story of Hannah follows a 16-year-old girl who is named Hannah. Whoa, big, big shocker there. Anyway, she is being raised by her father to be the perfect assassin. She's out there hunting, being silent, being awesome. She's out there beating the shit out of Eric Bana's character, who is her father, Eric. Not a big difference, you know. His name in the movie is Eric, and his name in real life is Eric. Look at that. Anyway, she's out there being badass, and one day Eric is uh, Eric Bana's character is like, you know what? We have to go out, and we have to go and stop this woman named Marissa Weekler, who is a intelligence agent that pretty much went freaking nuts, almost. And he said, you know what? She did wrong to us before. We have to go and kill her. Do you want to do it? Pretty much, he says to Hannah, and Hannah's like, hell yeah. So she goes and turns this little box on that goes and tells uh, her where she is, and she says, you know what? Come find me. And that's really where the story leaves off, and I'm not going to spoil anything else. I'm going to say the story is really, really good, very, very uh, original, I would say. You know, you, you'd say, oh, Kick-Ass did this, uh, uh, a freaking 12-year-old, 13-year-old girl, or a 16-year-old in this movie, uh, being a, a badass assassin. Well, you know, Kick-Ass was more tongue-in-cheek, very slap well, not slapstick, oh, use the wrong word. It was less serious than this movie. This movie's really serious, has a really good story, very, really uh, great characters, and just overall, I thought the story was amazing in this film. I really did think so. The characters, the story, all together made this a great film. I know I didn't explain the story all that well. I'm not really good at it, uh, if you don't know that by now. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give the story a 9 out of 10. I really like the story. Really good. Let's go on to the acting. Okay, now the acting in Hannah is another thing that's just fantastic about this film. Sears Ronan plays the main character, Hannah, and you really do feel for her character when she gets thrown into this world that she's never been in, because in her whole life, she's just been in the Arctic, where it's just snowing, there's wolves everywhere, and polar bears, and freaking the abominable snowman, and you know, she's never been into the world with technology, cars, and all this stuff, and... Really, you feel for a character because she goes out there and she's like, "What the hell is this? Ooh, a cell phone? What the what the hell is this thing that vibrates? Like, what what is all this stuff?" And you really do see it in her emotion. She doesn't say all that, but you you see her you see in her facial expressions whenever she goes up to something that she's never seen before, and she doesn't need to say anything. You could definitely tell that she's like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> anyway, I thought she was great in this film. You definitely fell for her character, and she's badass in the film. So, you know, she kills a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> spoiler. Anyway. Uh, Eric Bana is in the film also, and he's not in it as much as I hoped he would be, but he's still great in the film. Uh, whatever, you, you like this character, so he's good in the film. Kay Blanchett is also in the film, and she's really good in the film also. Uh, she plays the villain, and really, she is pretty ruthless, and every time you see her, you know shit's gonna go down. And she, I thought she was great in the film, I really did think so. Uh, her emotions were blank, so that really worked for the film's villain, because, you know, the villain was really just emotionless, and she was great in it. I really did think so. And overall, everybody else was great. Everybody else had small roles, like you had Jason Fleming in the film, uh, Olivia Williams, a whole bunch of other film, uh, people, but they were in a very short time. Anyway, I really like the uh, acting in the film. I'm going to also give it a 9 out of 10. I really do think it's uh, really good acting. So let's go on to the action of the film, because it is kind of like an action film. don't know what else to say about the film besides the action, so let's go on to that. Okay, now the action of the film. I'm going to say right here, this is not your typical Hollywood action film. If you're going into this thinking she's going to be freaking doing backflips, killing people left and right, she does kill a lot of people, but it's more like two or three times in the film. Okay, don't expect there to be a lot of freaking kick-ass, uh, freaking hit girl stuff going on around here, because there isn't. But I'm going to say right here, when there is action, it is really really, really exhilarating, and the action, I just think, is fantastic in this film. It's scarcely through, it's scarce in the film, but when it's there, it's really there, and it's really, really good. Uh, there's one scene where many critics have been talking about, and I'm like, okay, hopefully it is as good as all the critics were saying, but there's one scene where Eric Bannon just goes into this, uh, this, like, car, uh, like, this car lot, this, uh, not, not, parking lot, not car lot, jeez, he's in this parking lot, and, uh, he just sees a whole bunch of guys that are after him, and there's a fist fight where it's just one shot of them fist fighting, and it's amazing. It really is. Everything else was really good. All the action scenes with Hannah, of course. All of it, really good. I really like the action in the film. There's not much in it. Don't go in there thinking, oh, there's going to be freaking action every two minutes, because there isn't. It's more of a character piece on the character Hannah, and you're... you're you adapting to the character and her adapting to the environment, and really, her new environment... 
Really? I thought the action was really good, though, even though there's not that much in it. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I really like the action. Anyway, let's go on to the entertainment. Okay, now the entertainment of Hannah, I'm going to say it really was a very enjoyable film. Uh, the acting was great. The, the cinematography was great. The directing was great. Uh, the action, when there was some, it was, it was fantastic. When there wasn't any, the script came in and really accomplished what it was trying to do. And I really liked the characters, the acting, everything in this film. If I had to say anything bad, that sometimes it gets a little slow, even with the dialogue, it just, there's a lot of dialogue sometimes, and sometimes it's just like a character walking, which is fine, but, you know, it's a character just walking and looking, wow, look at all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, alright, I know this character is like still adapting to the environment, but sometimes I'm just like, okay, it's kind of boring to, kind of boring to us because we've seen stuff like this before, so I know it's, you know, it, it's needed because you need to have this chick go, wow, look at all this stuff, but really, it kind of got boring. Anyway, I really enjoyed the film. I'm going to give the entertainment a 9 out of 10. And overall, if you had to cu accumulate all the scores, it would be a 35.5 out of a 40. I really enjoyed this film. You have to go check it out. Even though there's some slow parts, very, very minimum. Just like how Rango had very, very minimum slow parts. Same thing with this. I really recommend this film. Really great film. Hopefully you'll check it out. Hopefully it's uh it'll do better than Arthur and Your Highness, which Your Highness I didn't hate, but this film is definitely more memorable. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.